Hello, this is Dr. J back with some more Let's Play Final Doom PlayStation version. We just finished Crater, which is maybe my favorite map of the game so far. I've really been enjoying the TNT Evolution maps. They've been a little on the easy side, would be my only real criticism, but I assume they're going to get more difficult as we get deeper into that campaign. Uh, certainly Crater was a bit more difficult than the maps that preceded it. Anyway, next up is going to be Nukage Processing. Let's go. Guess I came through that door. Already some pretty atmospheric lighting and lag. There's just something so cool about flashing lights like this. I don't know why it's so creepy, but it is. Oh, nice double kill. Thought I heard another guy shooting at me. Maybe not. More good creepy soundscaping, too. And a pretty cool looking room in general. With that uh, ceiling with the red lights. So I assume that this is, contains a lot of waste material. So is this like nuclear waste in barrels? That doesn't seem like a very safe storage method. Not sure what would be in the boxes. Or why I'm overthinking <laughs> how a Doom level it fits in with the supposed plot behind the campaign. Oh, I'm pretty hurt. I must not have finished the last level at 100 health. I wasn't even looking, to be honest. Getting pretty messed up again. Hopefully I find more health. It's difficult to fight this many hit scanners without taking some hits. Seems like I'm full on ammo. Anything of interest up here? Well, the map seems to suggest there is a secret door here. Aha! With health, thank goodness. Looks like another wide open area where enemies can shoot at me from any direction. A killing zone, in other words. Hmm, my voice volume looks maybe just a tiny bit quiet in Streamlabs. There, I've turned it up to full. Uh-oh. Damn. Oh, I paid for that inattentiveness. I should just clear the perimeter before I worry about what's outside. Alright, we saw a blue door. That's a yellow door. And a teleporter. Rocket launcher, huh? Hmm. Is this where I came from? Yeah. Oh, I can just drop down, huh? Is 
Is that toxic waste everywhere? Mm, a little hard to dodge because it's... Damn it. Got caught on that wall. And I'm dead. Okay. Is that a first death in uh, TNT Evolution? I think it might be. I really got wrecked by that shotgunner who hit me from the side because I just didn't notice him. That is pretty much what killed me, I think. I'm gonna bring up the map a little more to check for discolored walls, which might indicate secrets. How did that not hit that barrel? Come on, pick up the shotgun. Good lord, pick it up! Okay, I don't know what the deal is. Is it bugged? Pick up the shotgun. Good lord. Nah, these are just... I don't know, they look like shutters, but I don't think they're gonna open. Could be wrong, though. Who hit me? That guy? All right, full up on shotgun ammo. I think that's exactly the right amount of health to go up to 100 by picking that up. Fortuitous. What happens if I run onto this? Thought maybe there might be a secret. Doesn't seem like it. Okay, this time let's try to sweep the perimeter before we focus on what's in the big courtyard. Oh, that goes to the uh, teleporter. Didn't mean to pick that up, but oh well. Sure, let's grab the rocket launcher. All right. Let's try to clear the courtyard from here because it's hard to dodge on that narrow catwalk. Frame rate is suffering quite severely. Hard to hit enemies that are just a few pixels on the screen. Even more so when you don't have a crosshair. Good grief. Can I get a better angle? A little closer, maybe? There. That's one down. Sounds like I hit him. Okay, and he's down.
Got him. Let's use up some bullets. We went through a lot of shotgun ammo doing all that sniping. This is another really cool looking area. Horrible demonic skyscape. Skybox. This, I believe, was the yellow door? Yeah. And I think the blue door in the other direction. And what's this way? This is making me a little nervous. Don't want to get caught in the middle of an explosion like that. That's a lot of enemies. Oh no! That didn't go according to plan. It no wrong weapon. Oh dear, wrong weapon. Whew, that backfired horribly. Uh, I'll get back to this point and rejoin you. Okay, we're back. I think I used up a lot less ammo this time. This time I'm going to pre-detonate the barrels near me so I can pull off a BFG shot without blowing up the barrels near me. I suppose the idea is I'm supposed to detonate the barrels on the oncoming horde, but... That works just as well, really. Didn't get all the barrels. Dangerous. What hit me? A revenant. Oh, man. Okay, this is just grass. Oh, that's a lot of dudes. I need to pull the missiles into something. There we go. Oh, there's still one chasing me around. Pull it into the wall. I would like to do that. Come on, hit the wall. Oh my god, it's turning radius is so tight it's insane. I'm gonna get killed just trying to lose this damn missile. I really wish those things had an expiration time. Would have been pretty cool to pull it into that guy, but that was a risky move. If it follows me in here, okay, good. I am nearly dead. Slightly less nearly dead. What did that open? Used up a lot of shotgun ammo on that mess. Okay, I'm nearly dead again. That, I can't believe how much damage that guy did to me. Well, I said the evolution levels had been a little too easy. This one's a step up for sure. Guess they were just ramping up. Difficulty curve feels weird if you don't actually know that it's the start of a new campaign in the middle of the game. But if you know that, then it makes kind of more sense that the evolution levels start off easy and then kind of ramp up. Anyway, seems like nukage processing has pretty much just fallen completely into hell. Okay, we don't need that last one. We'll save it for if we get desperate. So I guess the whole point of coming out here was probably to get the yellow key card. Oh, hey, it's the uh, starting area. 
We've come full circle. And I guess the shutter's opened now. These were the shutters I mentioned that... <laughs> I was like, I bet they're not gonna open. Well, they did. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's go to the yellow door. Don't remember which direction it was in. Maybe this way. That looks pretty yellow to me. Good job, memory. Okay. I wonder if I stand in there if I could get telefragged. Let's keep in mind there's a berserker pack there. Full health refill is what it's really good for. Thanks for the reload, lads. Appreciate it. Should probably go... Uh-oh, where's that coming from? Where's that coming from? That could kill me. If it hits me enough times and I don't know where he is. Come on. Thank you. Let's go get that pack now. Excellent. Come on. Ugh. Finally. Trying to hit vertical enemies is so annoying. Hmm. How do I get up there? Ah, stairs. It's so pedestrian. No teleporter? That's got to be a trap, right? Huh. Okay, sounds like that let out a monster. I kind of thought it would. A revenant. Lovely. Luckily, he didn't see me. I was just prancing around like an idiot. Come on. It's so picky about... Oh, I need the red key for that. And that. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, there's the red key right there. Is that a doable jump? Well, I can't actually get up on this platform. Nope, can't interact with it. It's a lot of dead marines. Hmm. How do I get up there? Are there stairs on the other side? No, only on this side. Hmm. Nothing there. I need the red key not just for this door, but for the switch too. So it's not like I can flip the switch. This one you can only flip once, right? Yeah, seems like it. The red key's right there. How to get it? Ugh. Hmm. Are any of these posts interactable? Nope, doesn't seem so. Well, it's that time. Time for me to derp around and figure out what to do. I'll, uh, I'll do a jump cut and rejoin you once I have figured out the answer. Okay, so it turns out the answer is indeed to just make this jump. I 
who knows how many attempts this is going to take me to get it done. Okay, only two. Ugh. I've discussed my feelings on that kind of quote-unquote puzzle. Because I tried that several times and failed each time, which misled me into thinking, all right, that's not the answer. But it was. I, nah. I don't like those, you have to make this difficult jump to get this thing puzzles, because that's not necessarily the right answer. It could be that the jump is just barely not doable and you need to go find a switch or something instead. So, personally, I don't think that particular thing is great map design. Also, I'm an idiot because the red key is literally in that room. This is where the red door is. And the red switch. Who knows what that's for? Okay, to open the red door. That looks uh, inviting. Okay, I was expecting something a little more fearsome. Another teleporter on the opposite side. And some switches. Oh, they open more shutters. Okay. So this looks out into the courtyard. All right, one switch to open them, the other to close them. Interesting. All right, and now we're overlooking the courtyard from uh, a different angle. And there, oh my God, are you serious? Is this a jump I'm supposed to make? No, probably it's teleportation. Interesting that we're going on the ledges around the outskirts here. I assume this eventually terminates at the key card, the blue key. Oh, hey guys. How you doing? Quite a how do you do. Hmm. Something horrible is going to pop up when I get that. Mark my words. Or I'm supposed to go down. Or not. Hmm. Nothing horrible appeared? Well, that's just strange. And I thought that was going to terminate at the blue key. Hmm. Did I just waste an invincibility? Is this actually a makeable jump? It doesn't really look like it. Well, it was the answer last time, so let's try it again, I suppose. Okay, I, I, I dang it, I just missed. Okay, that time we made it. A few revenants. Is that what I was supposed to use the invincibility for? They're not that scary. Now I just need to lure that to somewhere it'll detonate. Hide behind this platform, maybe. Or not platform. Rocky outcropping. Okay, wow, that was slow. I almost poked my head out and got destroyed because it was taking so long. Oh, there's still a guy alive. Or animate, I suppose I should say, because they seem pretty undead. 
Get out of here. All right, now we have the blue key card. Uh, good grief, which way was it? That's right, right through here. Stupid door. All right, is that the end? I'm a little hurt again. Why would you give me night vi- What the heck? What is even happening? I just got slapped by a revenant. Well, I guess that wasn't quite the end yet after all. I'm running a little low on that kind of ammo. They dead? I'm really low on health now. Going into the next level with 48% health doesn't sound like a winning strategy. Why would they give you night vision goggles in the area map at the end like this? They're telling me to go back and find secrets? Huh, how do you get into there? Heck with it. Um, I'm really hurt though. That's not good to go into the next level with 48% health. All right, well, you know what? I'm, oh, okay, there's a little bit. Can I find some more? Maybe I'll just make do with 58%. That's rough, though. Well, I said the one thing I wanted out of TNT Evolution was to be a little more challenging, and this level delivered. It was mostly a pretty acceptable level, except for the couple of jumping puzzle parts. As I've discussed, I don't really like that much. All right, looks like we're done. A little nervous about going into the next level with 58% health, but let's do it. Next up is Deepest Reaches. Oh god, already getting wrecked because I switched weapons. That was one thing the previous level was lacking a little bit was atmosphere. This level starts off with plenty of it. A lot of hit scanners, which is my worst enemy when I'm low on health. Okay, looks like the hiss scanners have been taken care of. Oh wow, this is some pretty scary music. Kind of surprised we get the starry sky texture and not the hellscape here. Like I said though, this place starts off with great atmosphere. This place reeks of evil. 
Whoa, I almost stumbled off. That does not look like something I want to fall into. Do I have a choice, though? Is it another jumping puzzle? Is there someone right at the base there? Heck with it, I'm just going to fall down. Okay, it turns out... Oh, no, the floor is damaging. That stupid pinky was preventing me from dropping where I wanted to drop. And this that teleporter just takes me back here. Hmm. Let's try again. Aha. Whoa, I cannot believe he missed. A med kit badly needed. And that didn't actually help me get to that evil island in the center, though. Maybe I can just make the jump. Maybe this is yet another case of just make the jump. Yep. It was. Okay, and that one too. Still, that one wasn't so bad because it pretty quickly became evident that that was the only possible solution, so... And they looked pretty doable once I took a good look at them. So it was a little more obvious that making that jump was the intended solution. Yeah, this seriously just reeks of evil, like I said. Damn, missed him. More shotgun shells, I think I already went over here, yeah. Oh, nice double kill. Hmm. Well, this is enough to make a guy nervous. Did that open? Probably something time limited? Ah, just granted access to this part of the room, I think. We don't need that health kit yet. We've Fortunately, really recovered from starting this level at low health. A BFG. And did that summon any big nasties? Sounds like it's, uh... Causing a wall to retract somewhere or something. Or it activated a crusher, who knows. Ah, let's go ahead and pick it up. Oops. I think I did that just an instant too early. Because there's some kind of nasty somewhere. Hmm. Not sure.
Can't actually get anywhere in that little opening. It's like there's a river wending its way underground. Take me back down, please. Oh, it did. Okay, again, please. Thank you. Got a little disoriented there. Another one. Of course, the one direction I didn't check at all. Of course it was that direction. God damn it. Every damn time. Well, this looks pretty evil. Typical hellish inverted cross. Looks like a marine got sacrificed in front of this uh, inverted cross, and there's a skull key in there. Need a blue key to get through there. Can I interact with this in any way? Doesn't appear so. Hmm. Secret door? Or just a door that's high up? Don't know. I hear a lot of monsters somewhere. There's clearly a way to get to that behind the altar, but uh... Hmm. Looks like maybe I don't have what I need to be in this area. I need the blue key. Can't interact with this. Oh, yes, I can. It's just super picky about it. Can I, inter can I interact with the torch? No. Yeah, because that thing on the map where it looks like there's something I haven't explored, that's actually just the river that I can't, uh, I can't go that way because the ceiling is too low. I think it may be that time again. Maybe jump cut time as I figure out where to go. One thing I had really been appreciating about evolution that has become less true with this map in the previous one is it had it didn't have any of that thing where I just get stuck because I have no clue what I'm supposed to do okay so there's guys in the river but I still can't make use of it all right let's just take one last look around here I think I found it this is the way I need to go okay fair enough fair enough And it wasn't hidden behind a unfair puzzle or anything. It was just a matter of finding it. I think I, it's been open for a while and I just overlooked it, is all. So that's on me. That's just my fault. Nice, creepy, watery tunnel. You know a game I'd really like to play that I know of? Uh, but I haven't actually played is Hexen. I think it's done by id Software, just like Doom is, and it's basically Doom except in a fantasy world. And it 
just looks really cool. Because Doom in a Fantasy World is pretty obviously awesome. Don't know why this particular area made me think of that, but it did. Can I get this? Can't seem to interact with that. Can I shoot it? Nope. Well, we know where the blue key is. How do I get at that? Hmm. Fascinating. I haven't tried going this way. Don't know if you can easily make it back. But I'll uh, give it a shot. Oh no, did I? Okay, good, you can get back up. Seems like there's a secret door. Oh, okay. Once again, in an area where there's a lot of hit scanners, partial invisibility is maybe not actually bad. And the mega armor is just straight up great, so that was a good find. Huh. Interesting. It's like there's just a little side channel, but it doesn't seem possible to get at that. All right, we found another Den of Evil. Pretty cool looking. The colored lighting in Final Doom really just adds so much to the atmosphere. That and the fact that they just made everything darker. Quit staring at me, you eye. All right, we need the yellow key for that door. Another side channel teleporter. Aha! Takes me to where the blue key is. Excellent. With this we can make progress. I wonder if I can open this from this side. Nope. Teleports me to the bottom here. Oh, is this... No, that was the yellow door, not the blue door. Nice beating heart on a pedestal here. Lovely folks. These demons. Just the kind of people you like to have for neighbors. Now I just need to remember where the blue door is. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll rejoin you once I uh, get back to that. I'm sure I've seen it. Okay, I thought this might have been where I had seen it. The blue door is in this area with the sacrificial altar in front of the inverted cross. I remembered there was a door here, I just couldn't remember what color it was. But it was indeed blue. A lot of creepy tunnels here. I still think it was an interesting decision to use the starry sky instead of the hellish sky here. The hellish sky almost seems like it would have been a more natural fit, but I'm pretty much never going to argue with using the starry sky because I just like it. I at maximum bullets, yes. I want to make sure I explore everything on this level before I drop down. Teleporter, huh? Where am I?
I did not choose the right weapon. Rate of fire too slow, firepower unnecessarily high. Aha, we found the yellow key. And I guess the key behind the bloodfall or whatever uh, in the inverted cross must be uh, the red key. And this one's in a pentagram. All kinds of satanic hell imagery here. Innermost reaches, is that what this level is called? I don't know about innermost reaches, but it sure is seeming like we're in the depths of hell now. That's for sure. Hmm. Back through the teleporter, I suppose. The yellow door was at the base of the river, the underground river, I remember. Okay, well, I'm going to head back there and rejoin you in just a moment. Here we are back at where the underground river descends. I just figured I'd show the descent because I really like this part. I think this is very creepy. Down, down, down into shadow. And then you come to this horror show, which again, the green lighting really helps make this part look cool and scary. All right. Um, yeah, and the, uh, the door was back here. Memory was accurate. Excellent. Let us gird our loins and, okay, nothing. <laughs> look at the engraved skulls on the wall here inviting welcoming just like the fireballs flying toward us are also very welcoming being shot from behind or the side who knows every which way pretty much Come back for this. Interesting. What's this then? Kind of want to see what this room's all about before I go taking teleporters. Let's go ahead and pick this up now. Okay, we have what looks like a sacrificial platform surrounded by candelabras. A nightmare pinky. A lot of pinkies suddenly came rushing out. Was there any purpose to this other than to increase my kill count? Kind of feel like I probably... Oh, okay, there's a switch. Huh. Let's remember there's a teleporter we bypassed. Oh, this is so cool. This makes me think it's like a D&D &D dungeon or something. So these probably don't lead anywhere. This one and this one. But this one probably does. Oh. Or not. Ah, oh, you shoot it. Okay. Not that it seems like shooting it did anything. Because we could have just gone down this way. 
All right, what is that opening and closing? Something there, maybe? I'm trying to figure out what it's doing. Okay, gotcha. Aha, we're behind the inverted cross. There's the red key. How do we get up there? Got to be missing something. Don't see any higher ground I can get on in order to be able to make that jump. Hmm. Oh, this opened up. Okay. So that leads somewhere after all. into a creepy cave. The weird thing about this level, it's obviously, I mean, it's called, oh, hang on. Nice try. Thanks for the ammo, suckers. I was gonna say, the weird thing about this level is it's called the Innermost Reaches. It very much has the feel of a deep, horrible hellscape, like we're deep into hell. And yet we have fought only basic enemies. Hit scanners, imps, pinkies. I don't remember, there might have been one revenant. But we have not been fighting the advanced enemies. I know that some enemies were left out of this version of Final Doom, and I think they're limited with how many different enemy types they can put in a single level because of sprite memory limitations. But still, you'd think in a level like this we'd encounter a few more advanced enemies. Oops, wrong way. Uh, I've gotten turned around. This is the direction I wanted. Uh, has, did that do anything to make the red key accessible? Okay, it, it's still active, so it's not time limited. What's this? Aha! Got it. Nice. Hello? Red key, please. Red key. Got it. Now I need to remember where the red door was. That's the blue door. Oh, it's the exit. Oh yeah, I needed the red key to manipulate that, didn't I? All right, looks like that level finished. Yeah, deepest reach is finished. So, uh, mostly I really liked that level. The atmosphere was absolutely on point. There was one point where I got a little confused about where to go, but that was, that was basically just my fault because I had missed something that had opened up. So... The puzzles and navigational challenges were actually quite fair. The only thing is, like I said, why did I fight all basic demons in a level where it really felt like I should have encountered some more advanced ones? At least some Hell Knights or something. But anyway, that's going to do it for this one. Next episode, we're onward to Processing Area. Hopefully, you'll join me for that, and I will see you then.